If you clicked on this video, let me guess, you're here to learn the best tips to make money in Wild Horse Islands fast. So I'm Lemon and I will be showing you guys the absolute best methods to earning tokens quickly and easily here in Wild Horse Islands. So without further ado, let's get started. So, as you can see here at the top of my screen, I have quite a bit of money, 127,424 tokens. My go-to method of earning tokens is by harvesting crystals and selling them. Now, wait, I have some more explaining to do. Don't just leave and go, okay, I need to harvest crystals, because I have some actual tips that will help you guys in the harvesting of crystals. So, starting off, we have the best island to go to for farming crystals and that my friends would be Royal Island okay so the first step of going to my money-making routine is by heading to Royal Island now the two spots that I go to when on Royal Island are one the quarry and then two the mine so here in the quarry, there are a ton of clear quartz crystals that spawn all over the place. Sometimes there's more in the mine, and sometimes there is more in the quarry. I tend to harvest all of the resources except for the regular stone and tin because they're just not really worth my time to collect and they're not really much value, but I do collect the iron and the bronze and the copper um, because I can use those to make glasses and they also sell for a good bit of money, um, so yeah, that is that. On top of quartz crystals spawning all over the place, there are also archaeological deposits that you can harvest to get unidentified relics. In the quarry, don't forget to go to the little clump of rocks over there on the wall and use your fireworks to blow those open so then you can get all of the stuff inside of there. If you don't know how to get fireworks, I made an older video of that um, uh, a while ago so you can go check that out I explained how you get that um, but anyways after you are done harvesting all of your resources at the quarry you can reset your character instead of climbing all the way out um, and then going all the way over to the mine just resetting will save you that step and then once you have finished getting everything over at the mine as well, what you're going to want to do next is go up and visit Cal on top of Castle Hill. If you happen to see a horse, make sure and catch that. I will go into more detail on um, horse catching in a little bit. But if you do see a horse, it doesn't matter what horse, just catch it if you happen to see one and then head, keep on heading up. I know it was a quarter horse. Those are kind of bad, but look at that. It had a rare friendliness stat, so I guess you never do really know. Okay, here we are up at Cal, and what you're going to want to do is identify your unidentified relics. Now, if you haven't done that already, all you have to do is complete some quests for Cal. He will tell you how much you need to do, and then you should be able to identify them. And there we go. We got some accessories. There also has, happens to be some free tokens available for me at the top of my screen, so make sure to get that. A tip for getting more tokens is just by joining the Happy Acres developer group, and then you can earn a bit of extra tokens when you redeem that. Um, I also like checking up here when I'm up on Castle Hill because sometimes um, clear quartz crystals and unidentified relics will sometimes spawn up here. This time it seems we got a bit unlucky. Um, but anyways, that is that. And then you're going to go head on back down to Larry and sell your findings. I have a few other accessories from Unidentified Relics that I have not sold yet, so I will be selling those as well. We're going to sell this brown leather stuff that I got because I don't really have a need for that. I do like keeping the purple crystal items to sell at my market stands because people will pay good money for those purple crystal items because they look pretty cool and special, so, you know, I would just keep those to sell separately um, at a market 
get to see it. And then all these other items you can just go ahead and sell. Here we have eight unified, unidentified relics, and I can sell them for 4,178 tokens just by mining a couple uh, um, archaeological deposits. Next up, I'm going to be selling the quartz crystal, and I did collect a lot of this. Um, I have 89, and then I like to keep some just in case I need them for a quest, so we will be selling 80 of them. And then here we go. As you can see here, I will be getting 3,800 for selling some quartz crystals right there. So that's Royal Island, but I also do have another island that I usually go to right after farming um, Royal Island, and that would be Jungle Island. Now, I go to Jungle Island because there are three different types of crystals that you can get there. You can get topaz, emerald, and amethyst. And usually at Jungle Island, I can find quite a bit of all three of these crystals. They just seem to spawn all over the place on Jungle Island, especially if you have a private server. So I just go to Jungle Island and search the whole island, and usually I can find quite a lot of crystals. Sometimes I do get bored of just going to those two islands, so sometimes I will go to Volcano Island or Mountain Island, and I will harvest crystals from that place. Now, generally, I like to have at least 10 of each kind of crystal in my inventory in case I need them for a quest of some sort, because you actually can get extra inventory space from doing quests. More on my video up there if you want to check that out, um, but... I also sell my gold ore and then my silver ore and also any other resources that I don't think I would need a lot of such as stone because generally with all of my harvesting that number goes up pretty high. So here we go, we've got all of these items to sell, and I can sell them all for a total of 19,898 tokens. That is quite a lot of tokens just from harvesting some crystals, which is just completely crazy. Another method is you can collect seashells and stuff along the beaches. I'm going to show you how much they can sell for. But basically, if you happen to see something on the beach as you are running around, such as seashells, pearls, fabric, rope, leather, any of that sort of stuff, just pick it up and then it can just kind of pile up in your inventory. As you can see, I have quite a few shells here. And I can sell shells for 13000 150 tokens now that is quite a lot right there so if you happen to see them lying on the beach i would recommend picking up some shells so that is the crystal harvesting and selling technique for earning a lot of money and I do find that that one works best for me because I am also able to collect crystals in a private server where no one else can take them. But if you are in a public server, sometimes that method can be a little more difficult and time consuming and you might not earn as much from it. So that is why I have another method for you guys and it is is to catch horses. It doesn't matter what kind of horse, although my general rule of thumb is to catch horses that have at least 13 that you need to be caught by, but really any number of um, things that need to be caught by work because you can still sell them. I just caught a bunch of horses and will be selling them down here. So I will be selling, I think, around 50 or 60-ish horses down here. So let me just add them real quick because it is quite a bit. Um, I even caught some quarter horses in here, although typically I don't catch quarter horses. Um, but some of them had like 16 that they had to be caught by, so I was like, why not? And I was also doing some quests, you know, where you had to catch them on a certain island, so I was just like, might as well get this over with. Um, so here is just a ton of horses that I am going to be selling. Most of the horses that I have, I would say, I'm going to be selling right now. So that's 60. I think I'll go with 64. Five items that looks pretty good right there. 
okay and then i can earn nineteen thousand nine hundred and four from selling 65 horses that i caught so i will just make a bunch of lassos using either copper or bronze and then i will just go on a horse catching spree either as i'm harvesting crystals or doing a quest or doing something else if i happen to see a horse i will catch it and then so at the end of selling crystals and selling horses i have a total of 175,671 tokens that went up by like 50,000 ish i think i kind of forget the number i had at the beginning but all i can say is that is a lot so those are that is pretty much my farming method is royal island jungle island catch horses pick up seashells and and that is where I earn the bulk of my money. Also though, when there are events out, make sure to play the events. And then if you have any accessories that you don't like from those events, you can sell those. Because I also earn a lot of money during events just by selling extra event accessories. So that is one little bonus tip for earning money that I have for you guys. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that it helped you guys guys get a bit more richer in wild horse islands subscribe for more wild horse islands content and i hope to see you all in the next one bye everyone